Nickelodeon Skate TV, the only skateboard show made by skaters for skaters. On today's show, you'll meet San Francisco pro Jim Thebo, top world champion Christian Hasoy, a look at Jason Rogers on the Skate TV mini ramp, and a special trip to Fresno, California. We'll find out how trucks are made and learn about skate shoes with Lance Mountain. Plus, a Skate TV exclusive interview with Steve Size. I'm Skate Master Tate, and today we're going to be checking out some tough Terran thrashing with the tip-top olive flip-flop to the backside grab. Feeble fakie with the wicked twisters for my main man, the mister, here, Matt here, Lynn. Here, man. Matt, yeah. you got Thebo. I got Thebo. Yeah. Another one of my boys you can't be messing with. I got him. I got him. Take care of him. No doubt. Jim Thebo. He's our style king of the week, Jim Thebo. Jim began skateboarding in the late 1970s. He's been riding as a fully sponsored professional for the past three years and likes to skate everything, from curbs to ramps, jumps, bowls, or anything made of concrete. His dedication to the sport is an inspiration to any skater, professional or beginner. Jim Debo, he's our next guy. He's a soul monster. The skater himself skates day and night for the passion and the love of the sport. Jim Debo. Jim, what's How's it going? Seat, man? All right. So, Jim, our first uh. question. How do you feel about the attitude today in skateboarding? I think uh, mo generally they're pretty good. Um, sometimes I see some people putting other people down and stuff. You know, I'll go out to them with Tommy or something and it kind of bums me out. I see, you know, people putting down kids who are just starting and stuff. And, you know, I think to be a little more open. I feel that way about it. Do you get a chance to talk to the kids when you do demos? Yeah, um, lately, like the last couple demos I've been doing for about the last six months or something, I like, uh, I like, talk to the shop owner before I come out and say, look, you know, I don't want to just come out, fly for an hour and skate. How you doing? Big rock star kook, you know, sign your shirt and I'm out of here. I like <laughs> saying, you know, let's open it up and let all the kids skate with me. And, and be them. real, yeah. Yeah, because I, I mean, I wouldn't like to come to see someone and just stand there, see them for about 15 minutes and then that's it. You know, I'd rather hang with them and talk to them. So I think the interaction is real positive. Yeah, I know that, but I think, you know, to learn, it's, you know, the opportunity to talk to you. Yeah. Just give them a chance to expand on their own talent. We're all pretty much equal is the way I kind of think about it. And even though maybe, you know, this is what I do for a living and stuff, it's still just like everyone else who's serious about it. What do you think is different about skating in San Francisco as compared to down south? It's kind of like um, we're all, like, real tight and stuff. Bonded and, like, and united together? Yeah, it's kind of, it's funny because, like, um, me and Tommy are just no different than anyone else. You know, we'll show up to a spot and whereas people... Is, is this... Wow. Yeah, rock and roll, man. <laughs> We've been planning that for so long. It doesn't matter because he knows he's gonna pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> the art gallery. And when you're in a session, um, what kind of train do you guys like to skate? Uh, we skate a lot of hills because San Francisco is all hills. We go down a bunch. They call we call them runs. Like take a bus, you get on the bus for about a quarter, and you get to ride the bus three times, you get a transfer, it's worth three times. You get to go up, like top of the hill, and you come down, it takes about 10 minutes, and then you do it again. We do a bunch of runs, maybe a couple times a day, hit hit a bunch of curb spots, uh, Safeway curbs, Sears. There's a bunch of stuff. It's, it's all different, you know? My mom's 100% supportive about it. I couldn't ask for anything more from my mom. She wears all the stuff. She. She really, she really? The, uh, <laughs> the Powell sweats. She just called me up the other day and said she bought a pair. And <laughs> she into, she's into that kind of stuff, and she likes it a lot. She's a teacher, and so sometimes we go and do demos at her school and stuff. What do you plan on doing in the future? I'll be skating for a while still, and when I'm when I'm done competing, you know, competitively, I'll uh, I'll be still skating and probably doing something in the skating business. You know, I'm definitely will. This is my life, and 
that's that's what I want to do with it. I'm it's doing a way of life. life. Yeah. All right, Jim Debo. All right, thank thanks you a lot. lot, man. A wet Jim Debo here on the artistic couch at Skate TV. <laughs> Skate TV dropped into Fresno, California and checked on the Fresno Skate Posse. We're happy to find that skateboarding is going stronger than ever in the heartland of the state. Along. Let's find out what's on the mind of Christian Hassoy. Hey, Christian, what's up? How's it going, Taters? Good, good. How you doing? All right. Christian, tell us about your skateboard company and what you're doing with it these days. I've been changing a lot lately. I changed the name from Hassoy to Tough Skates because it, it involves uh, making my skaters feel comfortable, the professional riders on my team, because we compete against each other. And it just makes them have something to push for Instead of pushing for their competition, they're pushing for a company that represents them, so it makes them feel a lot more comfortable when they're skating in competition. Christian is known to be a fierce competitor. His concentration and control have made him almost unbeatable. In contest, Christian is placed in the top two so often in street and vert that his domination of the train is quite clear. Christian, you're recognized as one of the best pros ever. What tips do you have for anyone who wants to be a pro skater? Um, most I would say is to uh, wear your equipment because it's very vital that you wear your equipment. You know, once you ruin your kneecap, your your elbow, your you know hand, your wrist, it can lack your uh, time of learning. You need to have all the time for learning instead of time for getting better from being injured. You know. Are there a lot more top contenders than there used to be? Oh, there's a lot more top contenders nowadays, and they're getting younger because the generations are changing just like when we started skating amateurs and turning pro. We were the younger generation, me and Tony Hawk, and now there's guys like Danny Way and Omar Hassan and Buster Holtzman who are now 16 years old and competing and giving us heavy competition. So definitely there's a new widespread of professional skateboards. skaters should keep in mind about the most important thing that they should think about when skating? Just concentrate on your skateboarding. Don't get confused with all the business because a lot of the skaters of nowadays are worried about their business plans instead of their skating and it's making them get frustrated mentally instead of physically. 
you got to concentrate on that instead of concentrate on who your sponsor is and what they do for you. That'll come to you when you skate good, and that's all you should concentrate on is your ability. Three uh, Cool, calm, and collective. From Tate's. And with like that, Tate's. we're out of here. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming by, man. Thanks, Dave. See ya. You. Today we're going to talk about shoes. The shoes. The proper shoe to skate in isn't one of these shoes. or these. Good shoe. Good shoe. We're talking what, about skate What shoes. makes a good skateboard shoe, Lance? Well, basically you want support for your ankles and a, a good uh, a good bottom to grip on the board. Some come with uh, lace savers to save your laces because they rip when you uh, knee slide. Uh, some comes with uh, ollie area, like for a patch where you, where you ollie to support there because sometimes you get a hole. Um, sometimes you get holes on the noses of the thing. So we'll show you how to um, fix up your shoe today, I guess. On a, on, on a normal thing like that, you can probably just throw duct tape on there, you know? You want to try that? Sure. I think I've seen Matt do it on your desert. Yeah, I say it is. That is not how you do it. That is nicely done. Not how you do it. Remember, well, Tier is a to trained professional. How am I supposed to know how to do this? Only You're trained the pro. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the answer. Okay. Okay. So you you have a little hole. You want to um fill it up. Get a little uh piece of duct tape. Mm -hmm. Duct tape. Mm -hmm. And pop it in there, so the uh, goop won't come through. You pour your goop on, and uh, just spread it around there. A little stick they provide. Oh. Let that dry. Yeah, work. No, it won't work. Oh. Yeah, let me show you how you do this one right. Well, you pretty much did it right. Yeah. Ah! But it, you're stuck. You're stuck. He's stuck. Okay, he's stuck. Okay, he's stuck. This is how you repair a shoe with duct tape, all right? I don't care how many contests he won. I don't care how many models he sold. Get it, Tate. This Tate's is how a trained professional. Right. He can do this. Right. It's fixed. Good as new. Good as new. If it don't work, hey, try it again, right? Give it more tape. Give it a huh? You got it? So it's uh, Tate and Matt on shoe repair. Next up, we'll visit the Venture Skate Factory and find out how trucks are made. We'll meet and skate with Jason Rogers and our Skate TV exclusive interview with Steve Sai. So stick around. Catch air. We'll be right back with more Skate TV on Nickelodeon. Here's the perplexing Hoopis alleyoopis, an urban species known to enter large outdoor cages voluntarily. They are capable of short flights, much like the pterodactyl or the flying fish. Colorations vary by season. However, if you don't see the blue of the Levi's jeans, it's not likely to be a true hoopist. I was shooting baskets when I felt a wild hunger. I had to eat fast. The ball was too big, so I went for my shoe. He came from nowhere. Big Nick. The chicken wolf moved to get the Yakima Valley. What's he doing in Toledo? He gave me this. Kellogg's Big Mix has mixed up as Big Mix himself with a sweet cinnamon and brown sugar crunch to tame your wildest appetite. Part of this complete breakfast. Then he showed me how to mm -hmm. stuff a basketball. When your hunger runs wild, answer the call of Big Mix. You gotta love new WWF figures with real wrestling action. Jake the Snake Roberts versus the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Yeah. DiBiase lands a million dollar punch. Match Hulk Hogan against the Macho King, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, my elbow's fast, so finish Hogan, guaranteed. Hogan slams him again. Match Andre the Giant against the Ultimate Warrior. Andre will squash the Ultimate Maniac. WWF figures so close to the real thing, it's like being in the ring. Now back for more Skate TV on Nickelodeon. Kicking alive here with 16-year-old Jason Rogers. How you doing, Jason? Pretty good, Matt. But what started you? I mean, what prompted you to actually get on your stick and ride? Well, I used to race bicycles with my friend, and he had an old skateboard in his 
garage, this little metal skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, it was in the time of big boards, but he just had this old metal board, so I rode that around and did slides and stuff, and I was stoked. So I begged my dad to buy me one, and he finally did. You skated with your friend? Who else you skate with? Yeah, my dad used to skate with me at Del Mar Skate Park. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So Christian Soy started, yeah. So. Did you still skate? No, he's 40. <laughs> so he rolls around, but... Um, how'd you go about being sponsored? Um, I just always skated with Tony Magnuson a lot at this ramp by my house, so it was pretty much, I just got to the point where I was good enough to be sponsored by 8th Street, and I uh, got on 8th Street. What's Thanks. the big difference for you, I mean, in terms of being an amateur and now you're professional? Um, just the level of competition's a lot harder. Uh, the pros are a lot better. There's Tony Hawk, Christian, Magnuson, Danny Way, everyone, so much harder. Yeah, but pushes you to a better level. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you get a lot better. You just turned pro. How's that working with your schooling? Uh, I don't really have to miss that much school. It's just like I have to miss a Thursday and a Friday to go if it's a contest weekend, but that's it. And we're on block schedule, so it's only missing one day because Thursday is odd classes and Friday is even, so it's only missing one day. I just get all my work and then do it on the plane or whatever. I hear you're an English guy. You like the English class in school. Yeah, I guess that's my favorite class. I like to write and stuff. Really? What kind of writing? I just write about things that I see in in everyday life. This is Jason dropping into our Skate TV mini ramp. Frontside Smith to a frontside grind. A frontside disaster. A backwards rock walk. Backside disaster. And a huge Ollie Dufakey. A ramp transition to a 5-0 grind. Teb's train, do you like to skate? Uh, I try to skate everything to its fullest. I don't just skate one thing. I mean, if I skate for it, like three days in a row, I'll have to go skate street. I like, just, you know, I need, I, just, I guess it satisfies me to skate everything. Jason Rogers, join us on Skate TV. Thanks a lot, man, really appreciate it. Watch out for him, he's 16 years old and he's shredded up. We're inside the Venture Truck Foundry in San Francisco, California, to see how skate trucks are made. Here's the match plate. This is the metal plate that creates the mold in the oil-based sand. These plates are held together in place by the glass which surrounds the plate and holds the sand in place for compressing. The molds are complete. Then molten metal is poured into the mold at the temperature of about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. The molds are allowed time to cool. Once cooled, each truck is finished to precision measurement, polished and painted. Then each base plate is drilled and the key pin is inserted by hydraulic pressure. All the nuts and bolts are now fixed onto the axle and each truck is tightened to specification. And here's the finished product in action. Hi, I'm Ray Underhill, and when I'm not out searching for that ultimate skate spot across these United States in this luxury cruising vessel, I'm thinking skate safety, and that simply means use common sense. If you're on a ramp, use pads, and if you're in the streets, just watch out for cars. Simply said, I'm out of here. Welcome to the deep end. Well, viewers, have I got a beef for you. Check this. And on a less painful
painful note, here's Skate TV's Feature Trick of the Week. Feature trickster is Steve Schneer. He goes up into a hand plant, into a handset, which he calls a ho-ho or a hospital, comes back to the coping, he usually lands him in the hospital and he makes it! I don't know what he called it, a ho-ho or a yo-ho or a hospital, but let's see it again in Skate TV Instant Replay. Now how about a little bit of home viewer video action, all right? Hi. whatsoever footage of you skating at home send it in and we might use it now let's check out this clip from a hot new videotape concept from virgin vision now on display as video art in europe and another skate tv exclusive featuring such skaters as tony hawk and ray barbie Check it out. Skate TV is exclusive at home with Steve Size. With a special training ramp in his backyard, Steve is one of the younger pros on the Pal Peralta team and is known for his mini ramp skating and wide range of lip tricks. Let's check out Steve Size. raining or something and I couldn't skate. I hate walking to school. I always skated any chance I got. I always hated walking anywhere. I'll talk to you later. I'm doing an interview, okay? Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> I said, go get mom. Ooh. Hey, Lisa, pick up the other phone. Mark, could you pick up the other phone? And like the next year, I wanted to build my own ramp here, and I finally got permission. So after about six months, it finally started looking kind of like a ramp, and then people started helping out, and then it got built. And on Christmas Day was the first day we got to skate it, and that was fine for like a couple years. And then after that, the insurance company, they had to recheck the footage of the land, and they came in the backyard, and they saw the ramp, and they flipped out. You can't have this back here, too close to the house, so we cut it down, and it's still gotta go. Design. I really like Indian stuff. I don't know if you can see it. This is only the uh, first drawing I did. It's my, like my name, S-A-I-Z. All right, um, well, it's part of my family. This is my brother, Marco, Rom. Lisa. Lisa, my little sister. I remember one time, okay, my, uh, I was standing out in front of the, the, uh, the dryer, and I'm just standing there. My dad comes in, he goes, what are you doing? I go, nothing. He goes, well, why don't you go play? Okay, I will. He goes, well, go. I go, okay, I just stood there. He goes, what are you doing? What's in the dryer? I go, nothing. He opens it up. It's my brother. <laughs> I was going to take him for a ride. 
because you'll never know what if this is, you know, what you're supposed to do. Nice backside air there, huh? I got that feeling. You know what time it is. It's that feeling. Skate TV mail. mail time. That's right. All right, you gonna do it? Yeah. We got Tom Kelly here from Ventura, California. Tom writes, Dear dudes, I live in a beach town, so I skate and surf. Some friends and I were talking about which board is harder. Can you help settle our argument? I think the thing about surfing is that when you surf, you have to have ideal conditions. The gods have to be with you, the waves have to be right, the weather has to be nice. But skateboarding is an all-year sport. You can do it anytime, indoor or out. And it gives a lot of kids an opportunity to skate when they want to. And I think we're out of here now, That's Matt. That's it. That is it. And remember, keep the faith and always skate, all right? And when you skate, skate, skate safe. safe.